Why isn't Naonya and Yue getting the respect that he deserves? Getting the the uh, being merited as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world as of his defeat of Marlon Topales this past 26th of December. Why? I'm going to let you guys know why in this video. Yo, what's going on, people? This is Jake's point of view. I'm here to talk boxing, so let's talk. Now, like I said, Naoya Inoue recently beat Marlon Topales this past 26th of December to become two-time undisputed world champion. And people are still hating on this man. Look, when he, when he had his huge fight at 122 pounds earlier this year, right? And he beat Stephen Fulton right away, ambassador for African-American boxing in the United States, Floyd Mayweather, stated that the only reason that he beat Stephen Fulton, a black fighter, was because he must be using PEDs and that his, uh, his, rap, his, his hand wrapping was illegal. And that they should really take a look at him. And if he really want to become a great boxer, he should he needs to come over to the United States. Well, now, after recently beating Martin Tapales just on the 26th of December, here comes another African-American boxer. And one of my favorite, favorite boxers of all time. He was very entertaining, had a lot of heart, and he's, he's turned, now turned into an analyst on YouTube. And that's Antonio Tarver. Antonio Tarver says that, why should Naoya Nyue be number one pound for pound fighter when he's really beat nobody's? Are you serious? He's becoming number one pound for pound fighter because he has became two time undisputed world champions in less than a year. This guy has been going from numerous weight classes up and down, collecting these belts. You see, Terrence Bud Crawford, who is number one, didn't collect those belts. He fought, he fought. He fought Errol Spence Jr. in the mega fight of the year this past year, which, yeah, granted, was a huge fight in the buildup. But when it happened, we saw that um, Errol Spence Jr. was not at even close to his best, and he got beat by Terrence Bud Crawford, making him also two-time undisputed world champion. So why is there no argument there? But there's an argument where another fighter becomes the same thing that he is. Well, I'll tell you guys why. There's a pigmentation issue here. The thing is that Anoya Nyue is is uh, uh, Eastern descent, and he is not well taken by a lot of the public. One, they don't believe that there should be another, um, what do you call it, superior fighter or athlete than the African-American athlete, but really... That's crazy because I believe that there's great athletes in a lot and all over the world, no matter your race, no matter anything. Some of my favorite, my favorite boxer of all time is Roy Jones Jr. He had a superb, a superb set of skills and natural talent. Yes, a lot of African American fighters are great fighters, but that doesn't mean that when somebody else comes along that is not a fit in that criteria, you automatically discredit them. And saying, how is he beating our fighters? He must be using PEDs. That right there is not fair. I believe that a Japanese monster will be coming over to America. And he will be fighting the top uh, fighters that people want to see him fight against. It won't be Tank Davis. Why are you guys... It's, this, is, this is the kind of thing that people are asking for. They're asking him to come up three more weight classes to fight Tank Davis. But they're not, they're not mandating Tank Davis to go to 140. They're saying that he should be fine right where he's at. This is so crazy. Like I said, the double standard in boxing is so crazy just because of his pigmentation. Just because he's not an African American fighter, there's no, there, there's more of a of levels of things that he has to achieve to even capture people's uh, attention or people's respect. And I don't think that's fair. This is Jay's point of view. My point of view is that yes, Noya Inoue is the top pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world and having achieved two different weight classes and a lot of more multiple divisions in, in only one year one year span. And a fight over Marlon Tapales was a tough fight. Both of the men were fighting to keep the lead foot in front of each other and to uh, and they were engaging in a, in a, in a really entertaining fight. And over, over um, close to half a million people tuned in I believe just in America, 
to watch this fight at 5 a.m. You believe that if Terrence Burke Crawford fights at 5 a.m., there's gonna believe that they're gonna be that many Japanese people watching him? I don't think so. So, my point of view is that no, he in your way is number one pound for pound fighter. Y'all let me know in the comments. Hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. As you guys agree with my point of view, after all, this is Jay's point of view. And if you agree, hit the like button. Y'all be safe.